Okay, so let's look at the life cycle of an infection. Most infections go through relatively the same life cycle as other living organisms, those of growth and reproduction, but they have the added complication that they need to spread to a new host in order to survive. When an infection first enters the host, it is in a very vulnerable position. If the body systems are alerted to its presence, and the relatively small numbers of it mean that it will be likely to be most rapidly overcome by the body's defence systems and eliminated. So normally the infection will try to find a quiet spot which to hide and rapidly build up its numbers. This means that though the person is actually infected with the disease, they aren't normally at this stage contagious. This is sometimes called the incubation period for the particular disease. Once the disease has built up enough numbers, it's then likely to migrate to parts of the body where it then can spread to another host. This might result in the host coughing or sneezing or maybe sores appearing on the skin. It's this stage that the host is then contagious. Bodies now alerted to the presence of the infection will attempt to eradicate it both on the cellular level with lymphocytes, T cells and antibodies also on the system level with things like body temperature changes. If the body is successful in fighting off the disease, the host now may become adapted and alerted to fighting off that particular strain of that disease, and so the host is now immune to further infections. This is why uh, for some diseases the patient can sometimes be quarantined, either until they have fought off the disease, meaning that they are no longer contagious or until the incubation period has actually passed without the patient showing any symptoms meaning that they're not infected in the first place and so cannot pass on the disease to anybody else. Curiously enough punishments for the Knights Hospitallers who committed certain offences could mean that they were separated from their fellows for either seven days or for 40 days what were then called septane or quarantine. And that's where we get quarantine from. Hope this is useful.